Hello again, Hall time. Yes, my TF Nation Hall. Um, now, uh, before I get started, um, you know I do these end of month bot hauls, and um, where I show you everything I've got at the end of the month. So when I get a, you know, when I go to a convention that's either in the like the beginning or the middle of the month, it kind of messes up <laughs> my my uh, bot hauls a bit because. After you've been to a big convention, people expect you to upload um, your whole video shortly afterwards. So normally, I would try to integrate the two, or you know, you know leave the bot haul video out at the end of the month. But but what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to show you, um, as I've not long got home for a couple of hours, and um, I ha I've barely opened anything. I've hardly opened any of the bots. They're all still sealed, most of them, and. I'm just going to show you the stuff in quick succession and then I will go a little bit more in depth. Well, I don't know. When I do my bot haul at the end of the month, I will get them all out, have a play with them, go a little bit more in depth about you know, why I bought them and you know give my opinions on them. But this is just a straight haul and so, so hopefully this will be a bit shorter than, than the uh, sort of videos that I usually do when I do stuff like this. Anyway, um, Friday, uh, the first sort of things I bought on Friday. Uh, went to get the armband, uh, got signed in, and then you uh, got given the program, which is uh, full of uh, text and pictures, and it's got the, uh, the, uh, the the list of events in the middle, so I got that. And I wanted to get a t-shirt, but as I said in my last video, uh, they wouldn't accept card payments, so I had to go back up to the room, so I broke into my, uh, my convention cash. But I got the convention t-shirt, as you can see, I'm wearing it now. And uh, <clears throat> I will say it's a bit smelly because obviously it's uh, saturated with a combination of sweat and deodorant and it absolutely stinks. <laughs> so it's going straight in the wash as soon as I've done this video. Right, so doors open just after nine o'clock on the Saturday and I went straight around the corner to the left to In Demand Toys and yeah. Got me a Trypticon. Um, I, as I said, I haven't opened it yet. Um, I wanted me a giant robotic dinosaur. Um, I mainly wanted it for full tilt. The little uh, purple car dude, because he, he kind of looks like a car in my Ready Control car collection, but I'll probably show you more on that at the end of the month. Now, if you were one of the people that bought Trypticon at TF Nation, and I know they, there wasn't a busting lot of them, I think it was only seemed to be in demand toys that had some, and they only had a, a small number, only about 20, 30, I suppose. I, I don't know how many they had. But they seemed, well, there was still one left over at the end of Sunday. But um, on Sunday night, um, I saw um, Mike Mouse 74 uh, did a video, because he'd recently picked one up. And he was just letting people know. Apparently, w w the, there has been QC issues with some Trypticons, and there's a list of uh, batch numbers because on the bottom, you can see there's just just there. You can see there's a little number stamped into the into the box. Now he issued a, a number of batch numbers, and uh, one of them is is dodgy. But uh, I'll put the uh, the good batch numbers on screen now. And uh, then, the, if it's yours is the bad, you no know, number, then it's well. The, the, apparently, the uh, the dodgy batch number it will be this number. So I'm just passing that information on. Mine is is one of the good numbers. Mine is uh, seven one three five one, which is one of the uh, good batch numbers. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, Indie Man Toys bought all their uh, Trypticons from the same production batch, so they should all be good. But uh, if you bought one, just just check that number, and then if, if there's a problem, then I'm sure you'd be able to contact In Demand Toys and, and get it sorted out. But anyway, so I got Trypticon, and obviously wasn't just Trypticon I got from In Demand Toys. I also got the uh, the what the uh, Titans Return Wave Four Deluxes that I hadn't got. So got Perceptor and Cup. And uh, Titans Return Brainstorm. Now I wanted Brainstorm, even though it's it's just a rework of the uh, the Blur mold. Um, I'm collecting uh, Brainstorm as a character, you know, uh, character mold set collecting. He was the only only mold Brainstorm mold I haven't got. Um, they had it on sale at, at uh, TF Nation last year for 25 quid, but I didn't buy it then because I refused to pay you know 25 quid for a deluxe. 
<laughs> but uh, they they had some this year and they were doing them for 20 quid so yeah that was that was near enough so i picked them up and then it was uh the legends got sea spray and road burn and of course I got me a shuffler as well Titan Master shuffler because I really wanted one of them and then I uh, noticed they'd got the the clone box twin pack which has recently been released um, doing it for 35 quid now that's quite steep um, I know you can get you know, this is uh, going to be available at retail in America for uh, a, a lot lot less than this probably like sub 20 quid but it's recently come out they've imported them from you know, wherever but it is what it is I, I wanted to get them and, and I paid 35 quid for uh, pounds on his own before so getting two for the same price it's alright so then there's that then um, I went now, a couple of times I was going round and I, I saw a figure that I wanted and I didn't pick it up right away because oh, obviously I had, a, I had a, basically my hands full with all this stuff. And uh, and uh, one of the one of the moments when that happened, it was um, at the in-demand tour at the table around the far side where they had the um, the, the last night stuff. Uh, they had uh, the last night hound, but they only had a handful of them, and I wanted to get last night hound. But I, I missed my opportunity to get him, and then I came back round to pay for that lot, and then I sort of uh, started updating my list, <laughs> and then I decided, right, I'm going back in, I'm going to get the TLK figures, and I went back to the table, and all the hounds had gone. But they did have Scorn, Hot Rod. Now, Hot Rod, um, he's a deluxe figure, and yes, uh, he was 30 quid, and I paid 30 quid for a deluxe, but apparently this thing, being it's the Autobots Unite, it's a uh, retail exclusive figure, I think for um, uh, Walmart in America, and you know, Asda in the UK is affiliated to Walmart, but I doubt very much we'll see these in Asdas in the UK. And if you if you got if you want to buy one, you're gonna to have to buy one online. You'll be paying damn sight more than thirty quid for it. So that was my rationale in paying the price that I paid for this. So yeah, ordered, got that. And then uh, I wanted me a night uh, wanted me a nitro. And when I got back round to the table, there was only one nitro left, and some guy picked it up. But then he put it back down again and walked off. So I swooped in and got it. And the reason he put it down was the head was missing <laughs> from the figure, so he thought it was a you know a faulty copy. But uh, I bought it, not even noticing that fact. Uh, bought those other guys, and then uh, when I got back to the room, I noticed oh his head's missing. But I, I, I shook the box and something was rattling around inside, and sure enough, he had his head. And uh, this is probably the, the well one of the only bots that I actually got out of the box to uh, have a play with it, and it's really really interesting. I like the, the transformation on it, even when you know you got bits popping off when you're transforming it. Um, but it, it's pretty cool. I like it. Nitro is really good. And uh, that was that. And <laughs> obviously, I'd spent a whole lot of money by this time, and that was when I went back to the room the first time. Uh, I think this is over 400 quid for this lot. Uh, but then I came back down went around a couple of times and uh, well actually before I go on um, well, as I bought this stuff from Indie Man Toys they were slipping extras into the packages they were doing the uh, because they're now the official dealer for Toy Hacks repro labels they were slipping in these faction symbols into people's bags when they were selling stuff and uh, they also threw in one of these <laughs> uh, Tiny Titans figure and uh, it's uh, I got Ritgar, <laughs> so I got that as a freebie from the in demand as well. And uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I came back down, went around, and it was it was that point I decided I wanted to get you know get the convention exclusive rune. And there was a queue building up round the uh, the TF Nation table because they hadn't released the. Um, you know the animated comic book at that point because this is before the the official opening ceremony at ten o'clock. Um, but uh, there was there was like two separate queues, but I, there was a short queue to that guy um, who was doing the third party figures on the other end of the table. And uh, so yeah, I got uh, got Rune, 
for 35 quid. And then, then it was going around the hall and I'm thinking, right, okay, third party figures. What third party figures am I looking for? And then I thought, well, there's that, uh, that convention exclusive from uh, TFCon Toronto, the uh, the uh, Ocular Max Teragus done up in the uh, Paris Dakar colours, you know, Teragus Rally. Uh, when I saw the price that Capel was doing it at, because they had a few copies, they were doing it for 85 quid, and I thought, yep, yeah, I'm up for that. So uh, I've got me Teragus Rally. Um, I've got, I've already got um, Bad Cube Speed Bump, so I've got a version of the, um, another version, a third party version of the um, Trailbreaker mold, but obviously I, I wanted this because, you know, the Paris Dakar livery they've got on it, because I just love that. that, that just looks amazing. So yeah, got him, and then I was uh, in a bit of a, I wouldn't say a quandary, um, I noticed there was a couple of Apollyons, you know, x transbots Apollyons around. I mean, um, In Demand had two, and there was a, another one on another stall uh, just over the ways. And I was, for ages I've been wanting to get Apollyon because I like my Megatron gun formers. And he was the only one out of the current batch of uh, Masterpiece Megatrons that I didn't have. And I kind of, I didn't want to pay much more than 50 quid for one. But you know, all the ones that were on sale in the hall were sixty-five quid, and they—they, they, I think they were all used. There was—they weren't new ones. But um, then I had a word with uh, Mr. Uh, Matthew Grant, the toy therapist, because uh, you know he was uh, talking about, you know, he was giving me some advice about Polly, and he, he basically talked me into buying one. So I went over to uh, In Demand Toys and. Uh, I picked up uh, an Apollyon, so I've got all the uh, Masterpiece uh, gun formers now. And that was it for the Saturday, I mean it, it, by this time it was, what time was it when this happened? Well it was, it was, it was about half past eleven and I'd already spent like 550 quid. And I thought yeah, um, <laughs> that's enough for me today, but I was wandering around looking on the other stalls and I picked out a few other bits and pieces you know as targets for Sunday morning so moving on to Sunday the uh, the few bits that I had in mind well actually no before that um, I went <coughs> in the afternoon in the Saturday afternoon I went over to see my mate uh, James Light at uh, me and Max Love Toys and um, I was having a chat with him and I saw something on his stall that I really wanted, a third party figure that I've been after for ages and he was doing it at a really 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 good price and I said to him, I said, any chance you can put that aside for me because you know I've, I've spent enough money today and I, I don't want to, I can't afford to buy it till tomorrow and he says, yeah 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 alright mate, I'll do that and uh, so he did that for me and then um, then he uh, he handed me one of these now, <laughs> I'm sorry James but I, I can't help myself um, he did these these bottles. You can see it there. It says, "Me and Max love toys," and it says, "What does it say? Stay hydrated, humans. Time to take on the take out the Decepticons." And then on the back it says, "Bar whip, grana whip, ninny bong, gift from Max and me love toys, not for sale." So he 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 got these bottle these bottled waters. He wasn't allowed to sell them because he hadn't got a license or something. But he was just handing them out to people, and as you know, when you're walking around, a, a, you know, a hot convention hall, you, you tend to get a bit thirsty. So you know, he was providing free refreshments, for, you know, free hydration for people who were going to the convention, and, and I thought that was great. But the fact that he got his own branded little bottles, I said to him, I said, "Oh, what's this? Peckham Spring? <laughs> Where'd you get your water from? Peckham Spring?" So yeah, I was uh, <laughs> making fun out of him for uh, the rest of the uh, weekend because of that, but. Uh, yeah, I've kept this bottle as a souvenir because uh, I, had, I, I had three of them over the course of the weekend. But uh, thanks, James. Brilliant idea. But uh, still, where the hell did you get your water from? That's what I want to know. Uh, it tasted all right. So if, uh, if you want to know. So, yeah, uh, that was that was Saturday. Then I went and got the stuff signed. And that was the end of the day. And uh, obviously, then we move on to Sunday. And Sunday morning, obviously, there was these bits that I'd seen. That I wanted to pick up and um, as soon as I came through the door um, on the Sunday morning I went over to the the TF Nation um, shop and stood in line to get the, uh, the TF Nation animated book so because I missed out on the chance of getting one on the, the Saturday because 
they they didn't start selling them until after the uh, the ceremony had begun and there was a massive big queue and uh, you couldn't get in and they, they ran out of copies pretty quickly but uh, yeah I, I got in there early managed to get me the uh, the TF Nation animated book and then I went over to Toy Fu now I'd seen something on the the Toy Fu stand on the Saturday afternoon and they had two of them they had a, a boxed one for 40 quid and they had a, a loose one with some slight damage for about I think it's about 20 quid anyway this is another one of those occasions where I, I saw it and I, I went around a few times came back and it had gone so you know you snooze you lose as as this happens but on the uh, Sunday morning I went over to the stall there was this other guy who was stood there and he was eyeing it up as well and I was stood there with a the cash in my hand and I was thinking oh, I've bloody lost it again haven't I I've, I've lost it this guy's surely gonna buy it anyway um, matey on the store got the toy out put a battery in it showed that it worked you know all the lights and sounds worked on it and and then I, I made my you know I said and I said well I was really looking to get that and uh, and the bloke says well I'm not really that interested in it to be honest you know I was you know so he relented fortunately he allowed me to to, to purchase it and to be honest this is one of my favorite things I've picked up all weekend from Toy Fruit it's well Shack Wave or the uh, the original toy that G1 Shockwave was based on now I don't think this is um, you know the original original one I think this is a, a KO of the original but it's in its box you know it's got all the pieces it's got the barrel got the gun itself got instructions and a set of unused decals so it, it's all here and you put some batteries in it it works <laughs> it, it's in, in absolutely mint condition and it works perfectly so I love this I mean I was after a G1 shockwave anyway but something about getting this version because I remember this when it used to be sold in the 1980s at Radio Shack that's why it's called Shackwave because Radio Shack did their version of this toy in the grey plastic and then later on the uh, the mold was uh, reissued as the you know, G1 shockwave in the uh, Transformers toy line but when I saw this I, I just uh, had to have it so yeah and I think seriously this is one of one of the favorite the favorite things I picked up all weekend so I got that um, and while I was there I uh, got me a uh, Dark of the Moon uh, Cyberverse Commander Guzzle because uh, you know he's a he's a really cool figure that I've been uh, after for a bit so I got hold of him And then uh, I marched over to In Demand again, and uh, this was another toy that I had seen uh, a loose one on uh, Toy Fu on Saturday, but someone had bought it. But then I noticed that In Demand had some minted box ones over on their stall for a little bit more money. Uh, got me a Henke Megatron, as this is um, it, well, it's a Megatron gun former. I didn't have it and. Uh, supposed to be a really really good bot uh, just got to ignore the fact that you know, when he's in robot mode he's got these massive kibble wings hanging off the back but yeah uh, it looks much better in the uh, in the uh, you know the the silver color scheme rather than the uh, the, the bright nerf gun colors of the uh, Hasbro release but yeah so 40 quid got hold of one of them that was great and again I went over to uh, Indiaman toys and uh, They'd sold me the uh, Trypticon in the on the Saturday morning, and they had said before the convention that uh, you know anybody who buys Trypticon will will be give, gifted uh, a set of uh, decals, repro labels for full tilt. And uh, I hadn't got mine, so when I went over, I had a word with one of the guys at the in demand store, and he said he says yeah well uh, the other guy said he'd sold some of them and he hadn't put the you know hadn't put them in the uh, the package. 
So uh, you had some, they had some spare ones. So I got some uh, retro labels for full tilt and uh, another set of uh, faction symbols. So that was great. Uh, right, and then I went back to see my mate James. Now, this figure that I was talking about, this uh, third party figure, James had very, not very graciously put it aside for me. And uh, this is uh, early the Sunday morning. I, uh, you know, was uh, got a fresh uh, ma you know, mound of cash to spend, and uh, I went over and he he got it out for me. Mech Ideas Geminis. Uh, I've got Apex. Uh, I needed Geminis, but the problem with this guy is he's in uh, very short supply and uh, got got a cult following because of uh, Last Stand of the Wreckers because this is an IDW accurate version of the mo of the uh, the character. And there are people selling this thing on eBay for like two hundred quid for the pair, and it's like in your face, scalpers. You know, I got one for the uh, uh, more sensible, decent price, but yeah, really glad to have got that. I mean, I've got the Titans Return Top Spin and Twin Twin Twist, but uh, really wanted to get hold of these. And thanks to James, my wish came true. And right, okay. Then Kapow, uh, I was wandering around. I noticed that Kapow had uh, rearranged their stall and put a load of uh, Generations and Universe Deluxe figures on the front of their stall. So I had a look inside and I thought, oh, actually, you know, you know what? There's some mold here that I haven't got that I'm, I'm really like to get hold of. So I got Generations Cup. Generations Scourge. And Universe Cyclonus. So, managed to pick those guys up. And uh, then, something else I wanted to get Leader Soundwave. Now, ordinary, I wasn't going to go for this because in his beatbox mode, he looks looks desperately plain. And I'd already got the, uh, the, the uh, blaster version of this mold. But then I saw the repro labels for this guy and it, it just makes all the difference and I thought well okay yeah I want to buy that guy just to put the repro labels on him and uh, for 25 quid um, it was a no brainer so I've just got to get the repro labels for him now and then he'll be absolutely amazing uh, then I went back to Toy Fu because then I decided right okay what, what, what do I want now um, G1 figures, you know, because there's a, a number of G1 figures I'm looking to get hold of, and uh, you know, Toy Fu had a, a bunch of them on their store, and there was a couple of others I'd seen round about. So, and there was one figure in particular that really took my fancy a G1 uh, Sunstreaker. Now, it's uh, a, a bit, a bit, you know, a bit play worn, you know, it's, it's, it's got uh, paint chips on it, you know, the tires are starting to crack the chrome's wearing off but it's got you know it's got all its well yeah it's got all its accessories so for 40 quid loose warm but you know with all its accessories that's a pretty good price because when you consider you know you could get a better a more tidy version of the actual car for less money but then if you had to buy all the parts for it online then you'd be paying the same again if not more to get the bits so yeah happy with that and then I went over to the, the stall next door, which was um, Combiner Stores. And <clears throat> I saw this the day before. A little, uh, a little G1 Hound. Now again, he's in uh, pretty worn condition for a G1, but uh, he's got most of his accessories. And he was 25 quid, so I was... Uh, relatively pleased with that and then back to Toy Fu uh, a Mirage um, the missile launcher has got the the, the C clip part of the C clip is busted off but it, it will still clip on his shoulder again he's loose it's got decal wear chrome wear I think the rubber tires are okay but 
apart from that he's complete uh, got him so uh, that was that and uh, by this time I was you know pretty much down to the last of my money and I think it was 35 quid left and I was wandering around and then I wandered back over to James's stall Maximil of Toys and I hadn't really been into his stall because it was like had a, had a short opening and then it just opened out on the inside to all the, the the shelving that he had and all the toys was all arranged all around so I went in there and I saw a figure that I kind of wanted to get but it was a little bit more money than what I had left it was 45 quid so I, I started walking out and says oh I've seen some of yours I want and unfortunately I haven't got enough money um, you know I'm, I need to get another 10 quid out and he says well what is it mate so I went and got it and uh, showed it to him he says oh mate you can have it for 35 quid because you know <laughs> James is a mate and uh, you know he's done me uh, discounts before and Fans Project Warbot Revolver Core, their um, uh, Roadbuster homage. Yeah. So yeah, he got he did me that for thirty five quid, which is a fantastic price because you know I've seen this going online for like sixty, seventy, eighty quid. So yeah, that was the last thing that I bought, and it was about half past ten on the Sunday, and I was all spent up. So yeah. That, that's that's my haul <laughs> pretty big pretty good haul um, I haven't spent over the grand uh, the last two conventions I've been to I've spent over a thousand pound but this time you know it was um, 903 pound all up including you know buying this on the Friday so yeah it's a good haul um, I haven't opened the majority of it I haven't opened yet so I'm gonna open them up and play with them in the next couple of weeks and then I'll I'll go over them again in my bot haul and uh, give you my opinions on them but uh, as for now <laughs> it's still a 30 minute video um, I've been TFI Wilderness that was my haul at TF Nation and uh, thanks for watching see you next time goodbye